So this is a really handy technique for projecting your high res uh, sculpt where you've paid no particular attention to any kind of topology onto a mesh with a lot better to topology. Um, so we'll just quickly look into that now. So here I've sculpt sculpted a bunny rabbit and as if I switch on wireframes, so we can see one has a crazy amount of geometry here and it's not particularly pleasant. You know, it's just using the voxel remesher tool uh, and then sculpting away, adding detail. And the other one has been remeshed with um, the Z remesher tool in ZBrush. But I believe there is a tool in Blender that does something very similar. May even be by the same developer, actually. I'll, um, I'll put a link in the description of that tool. I think it's paid for, though, just FYI. Um, so what do, what do we do if we want to have the detail on this model onto this model and keep the nice topology? Well, I'm just going to reset the coordinates here by doing Alt-G. I'm going to add a modifier, multi-resolution, give it more detail to look OK. Then we're going to add a shrink wrap and select our high res mesh. We're going to switch to projection, which creates this unholy, scary monster thing. But then if we, under direction, we do a negative as well. Then we hide our high res mesh. We have the majority of that detail back in our low res mesh. And now all we need to do is apply this shrink wrap modifier. And we have our low poly, or relatively low poly mesh. And if I can tab in to edit mode, and we still retain all our detail of our original sculpt. So I find this technique super handy as I used to, you know, I'd, I'd go about sculpting something and I wouldn't really be paying attention to any geometry. And then I think, oh, it would be quite fun to animate it. And then of course it's horrible geometry. So I'd remesh it and think, think oh, I have to sculpt it all over again. But with this, you don't, you know, you can bake in that sculpt that you've already done. Thanks for watching and um, I'll see you in the next one.